Joining us now on MSUEagles.com, the defensive coordinator for Moorhead State football, Phil Burnett. And Phil, we appreciate your time today. Uh, a good performance for your bunch over the weekend and a 45-14 to victory over Davidson. Just your thoughts on that game. Well, one, one thought that uh, comes to mind is, that, you know, the second half, uh, we, we held them to no points, which was a big, big plus. Um, we came out in the third quarter in the first possession, and we made them punt, which is big. Now we have to do that in the first half, and uh, that's one of our goals is to, uh, you know, make them punt the first half and the second half on the first possession. You guys were really good on defensive third downs. I think uh, Davidson was one of eight in the uh, in the second half there. Just talk about that mentality and maybe you have a couple good defensive stands on, on first down and second down, but you got to get uh, the opposing offense off the field on third you, down. You have to be good on first and second down to get the third and long. And, uh, you know, we we can do some things on, on third and long because our, our DBs are are uh, getting better at man-to-man -man coverage and doing some zone principles out of our uh, third down package. And, and our front guys do a great job of working and getting to the quarterback and uh, putting some pressure on them. The first four weeks of the season obviously didn't go the way you guys had planned. I spoke to head coach Rob Tenure after the game the other day, and he said he was still pleased with the effort and mentality and, and the guys being upbeat. And I saw a lot of that in a couple practices I witnessed last week. but. Can you just speak to that and, and reminding the guys it's a 12-game season and there's still a lot of football ahead of them? Well, one thing you have to do and you keep have to keep hammering uh, concepts home is, you know, I truly believe that you have to come to practice every day and, and give effort. And, you know, we, us as a coaching staff have been trying to promote that as much as we can on the defensive side of the ball. And, um, um, you know, it's how they act in the weight room, how they act on campus, and how they act over in the uh, academic center. It all rolls into one ball of wax, and you know, it, if they're good in that part of the of the uh, social life, and then get them better on the athletic field, then that's what you're looking for. Assess the play of uh, senior Stephen Lester. He had a career high ten tackles for your defense the other day. I think he had five in the first drive, and really set a tone for your defense early on. Well, Lester's doing a great job. He practices hard, and uh, um, he he's really a, a competitor, and. Uh, any DB that uh, um, has uh, um, high expectations like he does out on the football field and he competes on every play, he thinks the ball's his on every pass, which is good. And uh, he's got the defensive mentality if something bad happens, he's going to turn around and go compete again. That's what I like about the young man. There's no secret this year's team is very young, just six seniors on the roster out of 92. but. How crucial is it to get meaningful contributions from all six of those guys on offense and defense? Well, you know, you, when you play a lot of football when you're young, it just evolves to the next year. You play a lot of football, and and there's no substitute about getting out and, and playing and you know, making a mistake and getting it corrected and, and going from there. And uh, um, it, it's very, very, very crucial to any team's development when they play young kids is keep playing them, believe in them, and, uh, and they have to learn. Another individual who had a good game statistically was redshirt sophomore Ronald Cooper on your defensive line. He had three sacks, eight stops overall. Uh, I know the week prior to Davidson playing you guys, I think their offense uh, allowed 13 sacks. Was that part of the game plan is to put a lot of pressure on their quarterback who's done very well over his career? Well, whenever you get a quarterback uh, like last week uh, that's a senior that can move the football team, you know, that you worry about that. and. And uh, Cooper practices hard, and that's one of the reasons why he does so well on game day, because he comes out and he competes on the practice field. And, you know, third down, he, he's got the skills to get to the quarterback. The coaching staff obviously working seven days a week at this juncture of the season. In, in terms of watching film and having meetings, what's the emphasis going to be moving forward for your unit? Well, you, you got to continue to bring uh, effort and toughness and enthusiasm to practice. you got to have a competitive spirit at practice and when you have a comp competitive spirit at practice on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, Saturday should take care of itself and you play hard and hope for the best. You guys obviously take one game at a time and that's very important from a coaching perspective and a player perspective but I was speaking with Coach Tenure the other day about this kind of being an opportunity in the middle of the schedule to get back in that PFL race and and win some uh, games against some league foes. Oh yeah, it, it definitely Definitely is, and uh, uh, you know Campbell's a, a very good football team. You know they have two quarterbacks that are senior kids, Hudson and Wolf, and those two kids have played some football. 
And the scary part is those two guys can move the team. And they have, you know, wide receiver, uh, Ridenhauer, that, that's, that's a very good football player. Their backs are good, and then their fullbacks are solid. And their old line has played a lot of, a lot of football. And um, it's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You alluded to this week's opponent, Campbell, on the road, Saturday, October 5th. And you've been talking about effort and energy and things of that nature. Any specific keys that stand out for your defense in terms of getting that win? Well, we have to uh, continue to practice hard. You know, and it doesn't matter who you play. You got to come out here on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, practice hard and uh, with enthusiasm, and do the right things in the practice. And you know, our kids have been doing a better job the last three or four weeks of doing better in the meetings, uh, doing better at pre-practice, and doing better at um, practice itself. So, that's the defensive coordinator for Moorhead State football, Phil Burnett. Coach, always great to chat with you. Thanks for your time today. Thank you.